Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. This time I'm going to show you how to get all the golden spatulas in downtown Bikini Bottom. Just as a quick heads up, I will not be collecting these in the order that they appear on the pause screen. Instead, I'll be getting them in the order that you can actually get them yourself as you progress through the level. First one we're going to get is Learn Sandy's Moves. Once you reach the teleport box on top of the rooftops with Sandy, you want to glide on over to this golden spatula right here. And this exit leads to the rooftops. But first, we're going to stay on the streets and we're going to get the next spatula, Tiki's Go Boom. There's a couple ways to get this. The easiest way is to position yourself with Sandy so the reticule shows up on the Thunder Tiki that signifies that you can press circle and pull down the Thunder Tiki and break up all the rest. Alternatively, you can position yourself so the cannon uh, launching kitchen sinks can blow up the Thunder Tiki for you. This is a lot harder and it's a little random. Um, I'm sure there's like a very specific way to do it, but as an average player, it, I couldn't really understand like what was causing it to happen. But as you see there, it happens. So either way you want to do it is just fine. Both work, uh, but I have noticed that the camera angles are a little tough to wrestle with and to get the reticule to pop up. That's why I thought maybe I was doing it wrong and just trying to line up the cannon, but the real way to do it is to pull it down with Sandy. Once you have all four Tiki pillars uh, destroyed, you want to return with SpongeBob and Body Slam onto each of the four switches that were underneath the Tiki's. And then this will cause the cannon to explode because an anvil falls on it, which I think is hilarious. And then a golden spatula will appear at the top of the statue. And then you just have to do some really quick platforming uh, up the statue by jumping onto the base and then the little hubcap. And then finally on top of the statue itself. Next up, we have Swingin' Sandy. This is in the rooftop section. Once you get near a teleport box, you'll see a clamshell to spend 2,100 shiny objects that will drop a switch. Hitting that switch will drop several Texas gravel points, so you want to start swinging on those. You do need to be careful because some of these are placed a little bit further apart than others. So when you're at the apex of your jump, you want to make sure you jump off of the grapple point. Sometimes you have to double jump, float for a second until the red fuel pops up again, and then just follow along this course you do want to be careful because there are tiki's in the air. Sometimes you can get caught on those and wind up grappling them instead. Don't fear. You can always jump out of that animation after the tiki explodes and then just proceed on your path. But at the end, you'll get the next golden spatula. So once you're back on the main path and as you reach the end near the lighthouse, you'll be at the next golden spatula, which is called Across the Rooftops. So just keep floating on over. And then once you get this one, you can switch back to SpongeBob and start on the next golden spatula which is called Ambush in the Lighthouse. So you want to butt stomp this switch and head inside the lighthouse for a really big combat challenge. Starting off, you'll need to kill a Duplicatotron as well as a couple of robots. And then for every Duplicatotron you destroy, the floor gives out and you'll proceed down to the next level. Some of these Duplicatotrons are in very nice positions where you can just jump off of the previous level, uh, jump down and do a butt stomp and you'll break it on your way down. Uh, on the final floor, which you're going to get to here in a second, uh, there will be two Duplicatotrons, and uh, that can get pretty precarious. So this is the second to last one, and as you keep moving on, you'll see that the uh, stack of stone tikis keeps getting bigger and bigger, and the enemies that are coming out of the Duplicatotrons uh, get harder and harder. So in the final level, you're going to have some UFO enemies, you're going to have some tartar sauce enemies, you're going to have some regular dog robots, you're going to have two Duplicatotrons, uh, and it just gets pretty chaotic. So you want to make sure that you uh, save your HP. There are a couple of pieces of underwear, or pairs of underwear, I guess I should say, uh, scattered throughout the challenge, but you want to try to make it to the bottom floor with as much health as possible. And don't forget that on the bottom floor, there are two Duplicatotrons, whereas on every other floor, there's one. So it took me a minute to realize that. As you can see, it starts getting pretty hairy uh, until I actually realized that there's one more. And this thing just spawns all sorts of enemies, Tartar Sauce enemies, regular robots, doesn't matter. This thing doesn't discriminate. But yes, we're going to kill this Tartar Sauce enemy. Last couple dogs, and then, or these aren't dog robots, these are just regular moving robots. And the next Golden Spatula is rewarded at the end. There is a sock in here that you can use that trampoline to go all the way back up top for, uh, in case you're looking for socks, and I'll make a guide for that soon. The next Golden Spatula we're going to get is called Extreme Bungee. And this is in the Sea Needle section of the level. So at three of the four uh, junction points here, the west, south, and east areas, there is a bungee cord 
that you will need to uh, jump onto and then destroy all of the tiki's that are floating around these bungee points. So each one gets harder and harder. The tiki's move a lot, sometimes in very frustrating patterns, uh, but you do want to just kind of take your time. You're not on a time limit, so just be patient and eventually you will get to the third one. This one is the longest one. Uh, you can see the shiny objects move in a bit of a circle. So that's kind of the, the pattern you want to follow, but it can get quite frustrating. Once you have done all three bungee challenges, go back to Mr. Krabs and he will give you the golden spatula for extreme bungee. Up next, we have End of the Road. This has us collecting 11 boat wheels from Mrs. Puff near the beginning of the level, but these are scattered all throughout every section of this stage. So the first one is just near Mrs. Puff. The second one is in this central area near a UFO enemy. The third one has a couple different ways to get it. The way I got it was a bit of a sequence break, but I think it's easier to get it this way than the other way, and it, it actually wastes less time. So once you get to the back area, you can hop onto this awning here and get it. The real way to obtain that one is with Sandy. Once you get to this big tiki section, you'll find three tikis floating near a sign that tells you to lasso them. Just look down and the wheel will be there. The fourth one is another sequence break that I found. You can actually manage to get on top of this boat and that graphical glitch you saw there was an actual glitch. It went that fast, but that's one way to get it. Otherwise, uh, just wait until you get Sandy near the bus stop on the roof and then you can just jump over and fall onto it. For the fifth one, near the uh, exit or entrance to the rooftop area, you wanna lasso float on over to the cannon and then pick up the wheel right behind it. For number six, we are in the Sea Needle. There are a couple in here, so you want to go near the backside of the north door and then to the backside of the east door for numbers six and seven. The next few are on the rooftops. So for number eight, when you get near this tartar sauce enemy, you'll see it floating on top of a pipe or a smokestack. So go ahead and pick up number eight. For number nine, it is right near the Bikini Bottom Motor Company sign. There's a trampoline uh, just below it that will bounce you over to the roof that you need to lasso from. Number 10 is floating up in the air on these moving platforms, also near the Bikini Bottom uh, Boating Company. And number 11 is inside the lighthouse at the end of the combat challenge. Once you have all 11, you want to return to Mrs. Puff, talk to her for a bit, try to get a driver's license, uh, but she will give you a golden spatula instead. The final golden spatula in downtown Bikini Bottom is called Come Back with the Cruise Bubble. And you cannot obtain this until you get the cruise bubble ability from Bubble Buddy near the Krusty Crab in the industrial area of Bikini Bottom. Once you have the cruise bubble, you want to return to the Sea Needle, go behind the south door, and then on this little precarious ledge over here, you want to launch a cruise bubble and then try to hit the switch that is uh, floating in midair or kind of hanging from a little bamboo shoot. This did take me a couple tries because uh, there's no way to invert uh, the third-person camera only, and I play with inverted controls, so it took me a minute to get used to inverted first-person controls because you can't separate them. In any event, once you hit the switch, you want to head back around, a new floating platform will have spawned, and then you can get the final golden spatula of Downtown Bikini Bottom. And that's it. That's how you get all the golden spatulas in Downtown Bikini Bottom. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. You can also join my community Discord server. The link for that is in the video description below. If you're looking for more guides for SpongeBob SquarePants, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'll switch Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.